Welcome to Boat Shed Norfolk and uh, a rather unusual listing today and um, this is a well I'm guessing it's a it's whatever you want it to be it's a house port it's a glamping pod um, it's um, it's it's a timber constructed uh, I would say houseboat and um, the, the, there's no mechanicals there's no engine as such um, as you can see it's um, it's a part finished project um, the gentleman who who owned it spent uh, an awful lot of money getting it to this stage, uh, but th there is still a lot to do, not only internally but um, externally as well, uh, which I'll, I'll go into more detail on, on the website, on the listing for you. But basically, it's constructed from one inch marine ply, uh, and the externals, particularly below the waterline, need need sheathing and fiberglassing to make it watertight if if it was to go on the water. The other option, of course, with something like this is uh, is for it to be uh, an Airbnb uh, or, as I say, a, a, a sort of upmarket glamping pod type of thing. Um, so I'm just moving forward to back now the, the space here. I'm guessing all this is, is likely to be storage. Uh, I guess that's what the, the original intention was. We've got another companion where at what I would say is the front. Uh, that it's not really defined too well which is the front and which is the back so again just moving around lots and lots of storage here it's quite a big area I just hope the video does just pick it up uh, as it should be uh, and then uh, on a raised level if I, if I can get up these stairs safely um, we have what I'm assuming was intended to be the, the master bedroom with a there we go a, a double uh, just in front of you though, that panel you can see, that's actually a companionway, another door. Um, I'm guessing the, the previous uh, owner was thinking uh, they could go out onto the upper deck perhaps with balustrades around. But, um, yeah, it's, there's, as I say, lots and lots of potential. Um, whether, whether or not you do choose to, um, you know, have it in the water... Uh, if so, then th there is certainly work to be done externally with respect to sheathing the hull. But a quick final walkthrough from what I would consider out to stern. I'll give you some idea of the size. Headroom's obviously excellent, probably about six foot seven. And then walking again to another area here. This could, I guess this could be another bedroom. That would certainly be a sort of galley and lounge area. And there she is on the market with Boatshed Norfolk. Quite an interesting one to, uh, to have a look at all the photos with. Thank you ever so much for watching.